Autobots transform. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. This is part two of my re respecking of my Autobots. This time we're going to do Chromia. I'm in South Bend tonight uh, with this overnight, these four day overnights that I've got, or four day trip I should say actually. Two of them are in Roswell and tonight I'm in South Bend. It's cold and it's late. <laughs> so I'm just gonna film this intro. Now, since the last episode, actually all my Autobots have gotten up to level 17. Now, now wait here a cop bake a minute, Mr. D. Gato. I thought you said you was gonna make a video of every time your Autobots leveled up. Well, if, you, if, if you'll just wait one moment and... Well, I won't see that footage now, mister. Hmm. Well, okay, since this gregarious gamer is being a little more impatient than he needs to be, let's just go ahead and roll the B-roll, all right? Here's all the footage of all Autobots getting to level 17. Chromia was the first to level up to 17. This color-clad fembot peaked her precision pointy sticks to be ready for her solo video. What will we add or delete to make her tip-top tubular? Next was the bad boy poster child Bumblebee's turn to make the jump to 17. To be honest, he is an OP, but due to his re-respec, he's growing up in his teenage years. It's like I barely know him anymore. The next day, our Autobot buddy Hound got his turn to 17. Although he's a tank now, his re-respec might be a little different. We may add a little more offense to his arsenal, we might not. Stay tuned. On the same day Hound got his license to ill, the fair lady ferocious Windblade got her time to shine. Although, quite honestly, when is she not in the limelight? Will my re-respect make Whimsy Windblade a winner? Time will tell. Alright, it's a brand new day here in South Bend. Got about another six and a half hours before I go flying for the rest of the day. Let's go ahead and take a look at Chromia and see what I want to change. I uh, think currently, let's look at the first socket. Currently, as far as the Cydraulics go, let's see how much I've got. For the Cydraulic upgrades, right now I'm at 249 because of the fact that all the Autobots have leveled up to level 17. So I think I do want to upgrade every single one of the sockets for Miss uh, Chromia. It says insufficient points right now for eight, but uh, it's obviously going to do it. So I'm going to rank all these up to rank three. So the second one there, let's upgrade that. And each one is going to take eight Cedralic upgrades which is fine for now. I think Chromia is the one that I want to move around the parts more, you know, just because I, she is offense and I want to get her a little more defense. Okay, so let's go back to socket rank three, number one, which has the storm shield, deals 150 damage, gains 150 armor. I've got something else in mind um, as far as that type of overclock goes so I'm going to swap the minicon and I'm going to go to let's see rank highest actually no I take that back I want to upgrade it one more time because I've got something for her which is leech and this is a rank four when your opponent deals damage they deal 150 damage less for five turns I want to keep that for her because if I'm going against some kind of Decepticon like Ion Storm or Nova Storm they have a tendency to hit hard right so Wither will help that damage uh, output now the second one I have is Spear I want to swap that out because right now it deals 250 damage ignores armor she's already a offense person, an offense person. So I want to switch it to plate mail, 
which is a rank 3 and that repairs 150 HP, gains 150 armor. Cool, 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 cool. Socket rank 3, I'm not going to change. It's a piercer, destroys 250 armor and deals 250 damage. That's fine, I'm gonna keep that for now. Although, let's check, do I have anything that might? Because I have been playing a lot lately and I don't see anything here that I really want to change it into, although the jolt might be nice because it shuffles two zaps, uh, zap threes into your loadout. Hey, I'm gonna keep this piercer for now. Give that offense to Chromia. And also the rank, the fourth one, uh, socket rank three, Axe Blade deals 450 damage, scraps critical blow. I'm gonna keep that because I might be able to find an Axe Blade that's rank four and that'll deal 500 damage and scrap critical blow. So we'll keep that for now. And then as far as the special abilities, I can't change those right now because I've got to get to rank 18. And that right now, um, the first one, collateral damage, four, destroys 350 damage, destroys 350 armor and deals 500 damage. The second one is armor and armor, four, gain 425 armor, charger ultimate. All right. And keep that for now. Let's go in the boost. Every single boost I do want to upgrade for Chromia. So it is going to cost me 16 Cydraulics per upgrade. So I should be down to like 100 Cydraulics left, which means that the other Autobots, Hound and Windblade, are not going to get as much as far as an upgrade goes, but I can change the moves. So that's what I kind of want to do right now. It is freezing here in South Bend, 23 degrees in the morning. It's about eight o'clock in the morning. So I got no gloves on, which I should, but it, I can't push the buttons, push the buttons. Always gotta push the buttons. So, okay, everything is up to rank four. I'm at 105 Cydraulics. Uh, the chassis is one that I want to work on, which is this red one, because I do have another chassis that I've recently got, which is a chassis boost two. Instead of raising the HP to 50 at, at the start, it's going to raise it to 100. Okay, keep that. So everything should be in green, except for the special. Oh no, the special is too. Add 75 damage to the bot, attack, equip, weapon, socket. So that's what I've got for Chromia. We now return to the Transformers. Okay, back in the hotel room. I'm gonna go try out the new re respecting of Chromia and see if it did any <laughs> anything different, <laughs> so to speak. First we got Shatter. I might, I'm thinking now that maybe I should switch back to another move instead of Shatter. Shatter deals damage with the armor and the bot, but if the Decepticon has too much or too much armor it's it's not gonna do too much and with with chromia eh, give me 200 for that uh, is there anything else let's see actually did chromia get any damage yes she did okay let's heal her up first and two stars so I'm not seeing any four rank fours right now uh, but you know this is still getting experience for chromia there's wither right after this one well, that's not gonna work. <laughs> I'd, I'd like to use Wither just to see how effective it would be in a battle. Okay, so that is my re-respect of Chromia. Hopefully, it'll do some good. Who knows? <laughs> but if you like this video, go ahead and click that like button. Click subscribe. Click on the notification bell. Let you know I came out with another video for y'all. See you next time. Dose.